Well, I have another saw I, was, I found while I was looking for that other one. So I've been practicing it. Life is full of heartaches and broken dreams. To live is not always easy as it seems. But God is so faithful, so very true. He really cares about you. Don't doubt my Have been made therein. 
There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem, which have ruled over all countries beyond the river, and toll, <coughs> tribute, and custom was paid unto them. Give ye now a comm uh, commandment to cause these men to cease, and that this city be not builded, until another commandment shall be given for me. Take heed now that ye fail not to do this. Why should damage grow to the hurt of the kings? Now when the copy of the king Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rehum and Shimshay, the scribe and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem unto the Jews, and made them to cease by force and power. Then ceased the work of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. So it ceased unto the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for your word. And Lord, we know that all uh, scripture is given in by inspiration. And Lord, that it all is to us today as an example. Yeah. And an example, Lord, that we might follow uh, your word. That we might follow in the steps, Lord, of those who are faithful to you. Lord, that we might tune our hearts to do your will. Yeah. Lord, we just pray that you would give us insight from your word tonight. Lord, that you would use me as your mouthpiece to preach your uh, truths. Lord, that we might all uh, grow in faith and in grace. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 <laughs> Now we all know the story of how uh, that commandment was given by Darius to go and, and allow the Jews back into their land to build the walls and to build the temple. So we know that that was and so that happened. Uh, uh, we find here that there was men that, that uh, of of uh, the new uh, regime, if you want to use that word, the new kingdom of the the Persians who came to king, the king Artaxerxes and said, Listen, if you allow these people to continue building, they're going to, uh, you know, they're going to rise up against us. And they're going to insurrect. And, and uh, they're not going to pay tribute. They're not going to pay custom as uh, they're supposed to. And we're going to have all sorts of problems with these people if you let them uh, come back here and rebuild. You know what? There is always an adversary isn't there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When God's work is being done, there's always an adversary endeavoring to hinder that work. Amen. You can always mark it down. Satan uh, does not want God's work to be done. Amen. And he's going to do everything he can to stop the work of God. And it was the work of God. It was God who put it on Darius's heart to send them back to rebuild the temple. And you know what? It is our work that God has left us here to do, amen, in working and, and doing what Christ did in His ministry on this earth. Amen. Just as in over in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, He says, I pray you in Christ's stead, amen? We are in Christ's stead to carry on that ministry of reconciliation. And that Jesus uh, commanded His church, He said, Go ye therefore into all the world and preach the gospel, amen? amen. He has left us here to do a work. And there's always an adversary to hinder that work. Look at 1 Peter chapter 5. In 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8 through 11. He says, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, Settle you. Yeah. Amen. We need to be sober and vigilant. We need to understand that there is an adversary. Yeah. That we have an adversary and he is out looking whom he made of our. Yeah. Now he's not messing with those people who aren't doing anything. Okay. That's not his concern. His concern is with those who are serving the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Those who are.
are, are, are keeping uh, the commandments of God, those who are doing the work of God here on this earth, He is endeavoring to uh, consume them and to stop them from doing the work that God has called them to do. He is our adversary. And we need to learn how to resist steadfast in the faith. Amen? Yeah. Not to be overcome, but just to do what God has called us to do no matter what. Look at Ephesians chapter 6. This isn't nothing new tonight, but it is needful. Yeah. It is needful for all of us to keep in mind and remember that we are in a battle. Amen? Amen. And we are to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. And that it's not always going to go smoothly the way we want it. Amen. But we need to understand that it's not because of men in the flesh, but because of powers, spiritual powers of darkness yeah. that fight against us. Yeah. Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 11 through 12, it says, and let's start in verse 10, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Yeah. Put on the whole armor of God that He may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Listen, that's what we're up against. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's what we face. If we're going to do the work of the Lord, we're going to fight against these powers. Amen? Amen. We're going to fight against these principalities and the rulers of the darkness of this world if we're going to stand for Jesus Christ. And that's what He says. Uh, that we might stand against the wiles of the devil. If we're going to make a stand for the Lord, if we're going to keep fighting for the Lord, then we're going to uh, face opposition. Mm -hmm. It's just going to happen. We need to be prepared. Amen? You know, uh, the, a wise king does not prepare for war without counting the cost first. Amen? And we need to count the cost and know that there is a cost to serving the Lord. Amen. That we have to deny ourselves and take up our cross and follow Him. As Moses, it says over in Hebrews chapter 11, that he uh, would... Uh, well, let me re turn over there and read it because my mind is not working as sharp tonight as I would like it to. That's okay. I, it just makes me have to depend more on the Lord. chapter 11 and it says, in verse 23 it says, By faith Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child in that and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. Mm -hmm. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin <coughs> for a season. Yeah. Esteeming the reproach of who? Christ. Of Christ. Amen. Yeah. Greater riches than the treasures of he in Egypt. Yeah. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king. For he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Amen. Amen. Yeah. He had, uh, it says that he esteemed the reproach of Christ. As we also should do, amen? Yeah. That we bear His reproach outside the gate, amen? That we take up our cross and follow Him. Yeah. No matter what opposition we face, whether it's the King's commandment or not, amen? Yeah. That might be against us, but that we stand for the Lord, amen? Yeah. And we keep standing for the Lord. Amen. Look at 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Second Corinthians chapter 10 and verses 3 through 5 it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. Amen. 
casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen? We are not warring after the flesh. We are warring in the Spirit. Amen? And we have weapons to do so. Amen? Amen? We have weapons. We have faith. We have the shield of faith. Amen? Amen? We have the shield of faith that is going to thwart the fiery darts of the wicked. We have prayer, amen, praying with all supplication for all saints, amen. We have prayer to lift each other up, amen, amen. to stand in the, the battle, amen. And, and, and it, I think about those uh, uh, Grecian uh, warriors, amen. Uh, they even made a movie and, and called 300. And I'm not, don't, please don't watch the movie, but... Uh, it is about those men who st stood against uh, Artaxerxes, <laughs> who came to conquer Greece. But they did not be; they weren't going to be conquered easily. And you know what? Their war tactics were just really good because they stood together as one. Mm -hmm. When they had their shields together, they stood together as one. And with their shields covering themselves and pressing forward and the spears that they used and the swords. You know what? We have a, a great uh, arsenal to use in the fight. Amen? Amen? We have the pure, holy Word of God. Amen. We have prayer that we can come boldly to the throne of God in the time of need. Amen? To receive grace. Amen. We are in a fight. But it's not after the flesh, it's after the Spirit. And there is an adversary, the devil, amen? And we need to uh, resist. <laughs> we need to be the resistance, <laughs> amen? amen? To resist against his fight against us because we do not fight for ourselves. We fight for the God of heaven, amen? amen. We fight for his will that is to be done on this earth. And praise God that He has counted us faithful to be in the fight. Amen. Amen. He has counted us faithful to be warriors in His battle. And we must be faithful. Amen. We must be faithful to the Word. Because we serve the Lord. Amen. And He is faithful to us. We must be faithful to Him. And that is exactly what the children of Israel did. Amen. Even though the king, uh, Artaxerxes, sent word uh, back to stop the work, it might have stopped them for a little bit. It says that they ceased the work uh, unto the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. And it might not have been Darius uh, that gave the decree. Uh, it might have been Cyrus. I, I get their names mixed up. But it's, it talks about it over in Daniel. Anyway, so they kept going on even though it was ordered by the king to stop. Look with me in Ezra chapter 5 and starting in verse 1. says in Ezra chapter 5 and verse 1, Then the prophets, Haggai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Edo, prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of God Israel of Israel even unto them. You know what? <laughs> Knowledge is powerful. Amen? Yeah. Truth is power. That's right. Truth is liberty. Jesus said, You will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Yeah. Free from what? Free from the oppression of the enemy. Amen? Yeah. They can't stop us. They can't oppress us. <coughs> The devil can do all that he can try, but if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen? Verse 2, it says, Then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtel, and Jeshua, the son of Josedach, and began to build the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. And with them were the prophets of God helping them. Amen? Amen. At the same time came to them Tatnai, governor of this side of the river, and Shelfar, both names and their companions, and said thus unto them, Who hath commanded you to build this house and to make up this wall? On whose authority are you doing this? Uh -huh. 
Amen. On the authority of God. That's Amen. right. Amen. <laughs> and it says, Then said we unto them after this manner, What are the names of the men that make this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, that they could not cause them to cease, till the matter came to Darius. And then they returned answer by letter concerning this matter. <laughs> They couldn't stop them because God was with them. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And we need to understand that God is with us. We're not alone. Amen. Amen. That He has given us the decree. And not only will He uh, command us in how we are to live and how we are to please Him, but He is going to equip us with the power to do it. Amen. Look at Acts chapter 5. In Acts chapter 5, verses 27 through 32. Let's start at verse 26. It says, Then went the captain with the officers and brought them without violence, for they feared the people, lest they should have been stoned. And when they had brought them, they set them before the council. And the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. And then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Amen. The God of our fathers raised up Je or, yeah, the God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Him hath God exalted with His right hand to be a prince and a savior, Amen. for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. And we are His witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey Him. When they heard that, they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them. <laughs> Amen. I said, didn't we tell you to stop teaching in the name of Jesus? Quit using His name. You're going to make the people think it, it was our fault that He died. Yeah. Stop teaching in the name of Jesus. We ought to obey God rather than men. Yeah. 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 It doesn't matter what laws are passed. It doesn't matter what threat, threats are made against our own lives. We ought to obey God rather than men. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't, you know, and not just the threats of men. But the discouragements of Satan. Man, we should not let the discouragements. Satan tries to discourage us. Satan tries to put things in our lives and in our ways to cause us to want to give up. Yeah. Hey, we should never lose our want to keep going. Yeah. Our will to fight on. Mm -hmm. To keep going for the Lord. Don't allow Satan to discourage you. Don't let him to put things in your way. Listen, fight back with prayer. Amen. Amen. Fight back with studying in God's Word and keeping your heart on the in your affections on those things above Amen. and not on the things of this earth. Amen. So that we can say that we are obeying God rather than men. Amen. Amen. Look at Galatians chapter 1. Galatians chapter 1. That's why we should hate every evil way. Amen? We should hate every evil way because those evil ways are there to tempt us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to cause us to fall from our steadfastness. Galatians chapter 1 and verses 9 through 11 it says, As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach another gospel unto you than that he have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
the work that we have, the gospel that we preach, is not of man. And therefore, why should we try to please man? Amen? Yeah. We need to please God. Yeah. It is His gospel. It is His work. Yeah. And He is the one who has given it to us. Yeah. And we need to make sure that we are living to please Him. Yeah. And to be a servant of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And if we are faithful to keep His Word, then He will give the increase. Amen? Amen. As long as we are faithful to Him, He is going to be faithful to us. Amen. To give the increase. Mm -hmm. To bless. He's not just going to let our work be in vain. Amen? Amen. Because it's not our work. It's right. His. Amen. And He is going to accomplish what He set out to accomplish. Amen? Amen. Yes. And I want to be a part of it. Amen. Right. Amen. I want to be a part of those who weren't afraid of the king's commandment right. and said, you know what? The prophets have come and they've given us the word of God that God wants us to rebuild and we don't care what the king says. We're going to do what God says. Right. 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 I want to be a part of that group. Amen. Just as Moses who, who esteemed the reproach of Christ. Amen. Better than all the riches of Egypt. I want to be a part of that group. Yeah. Because that's where the true blessings come. Because that's where God gives the increase. Amen. Amen. That's where Jesus opens a window or a door that no man can shut. Right. Amen. Look at Ezra chapter 6. And to fill you in what happens in chapter 5, you can go read it uh, back. But they sent word back to Darius. He wanted to know why they were building. And they said because it was decreed by Cyrus the king. Cyrus gave commandment. By the will of God. Amen. Yeah. And so, Dar uh, so Darius searched back in the records of the kings of Babylon. Right. And found that it was decreed by Cyrus. Right. For all these things to happen. Now look at chapter 6, verse 1. Oh, I'm sorry, verse 7 through 14. It says, Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. Moreover, I make a decree that uh, what ye shall do to the elders of the, these Jews for the building of this house of God that of the king's goods, even of the tribute beyond the river, forthwith expenses be given unto these men. Amen. That they be not hindered. Yeah. And that which they have need of, both young bullocks and rams and lambs for the burnt offering of the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the appointment of the priests which are at Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail. Amen. That they may offer sacrifices of sweet savors unto the God of heaven and pray for the life of the king and of his sons. Also I have made a decree that whosoever shall alter this word, let timber be pulled down from his house and being set up, let him be hanged thereon. And let his house be made a dunghill for this. And the God that hath caused His name to dwell there destroy all kings and people that shall put to their hand to alter and to destroy this house of God which is at Jerusalem. Amen. I, Darius, have made a decree. Let it be done with speed. Amen. Then Tetnai, governor on this side of the river, and Shethar Bosnay, and their companions, according to that which Darius the king had sent, so they did speedily. And the elders of the Jews built it, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Iddo. And they built it and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. Not according to the commandment of Darius, but according to the commandment of God. Amen. And according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes, king of Persia. Amen. 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 Listen, if God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. It is His work that we are working. Amen. It is His faith that we are fighting for. Amen. To keep 
and to spread through the nations of this world. And we are co to continue in that and to be faithful in that to keep God's Word. Amen? Amen. And because we keep God's Word, God is going to give an increase. Yeah. Just as He did through these kings. Amen. And it makes me wonder exactly what was written in the books of the kings. Mm -hmm. Because this sounds like this man had a conversion. Amen? Yeah. <laughs> Because he did not just say, okay, let them keep on building. No, he said, no, give them exactly what they need for their sacrifices. And he wasn't just saying so that they can serve their God. No, he said so they can serve the God of heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. I wonder what just was written. Because it sounds like he had a time of coming to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And God is able to do that, isn't he? Yes. God has a purpose that we uh, that are higher than what we can imagine. Yeah. And God's ways are higher than what we can imagine. Amen. And we just need to keep on being faithful to His Word. Amen. Amen. To do His Word. Mm -hmm. Look at Acts chapter 2. We might have to endure some things. Yeah. Always going to come through. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verses 44 through 47, it says, And all that believed were together, and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man had need. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread, from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, mm -hmm. praising God, and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily as such as should be saved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Listen, they were faithful. Yeah. They were faithful to do what God had called them to do. And guess what? God continued to add to the church. Amen. God continued to build that city. Amen. Through their work. And you know what? We are fellow laborers with God to build this work. To be witnesses as was preached this morning. To go out and be a light. To let the light of Jesus Christ shine through us. Amen. Not to allow the attacks of Satan to overcome us, but to continue to fight and keep the Word of God. Amen. And as we do, we know God will bless. First Corinthians chapter 3, and we'll be through. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 5 through 7 says, starting in verse 5, Who then is Paul? And who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believe, even as the Lord gave to every man. I have planted Apollos water, but God gave the increase. Yeah. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Amen. 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 We need to understand that this is not our house. Yeah. It, is, it is His house. Amen. And we are a part of that house. Amen. 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 And that it is not by our power, but by His power. Amen. Yeah. And it is by His word and not our word. Amen. 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 That this house is built. And God will build His house. Amen. If we'll just be faithful to this right here. Amen. To keep His Word. Amen. No matter what. Let's stand. <clears throat>